all right so what is up youtube today we are going to be doing something different i am going to be talking about this card because a lot of people are discussing this card they hate it they hate that the name is spy gal now the card itself is pretty great actually not pretty i mean you no know, it is pretty great now i'm gonna explain to you why i believe that the name is spy gal and I, why i believe that this card is really getting overlooked because of its name and nobody is paying attention to the potential it can have on the upcoming metal or just in upcoming decks now to call it a spy gal is completely stupid but i understand i have a theory of my own i think that the reason they call it spy gal is because of his first her first effect that nobody is really paying attention to is this that it says now you now if everybody can read with me it says if this card is normal or special summon you can declare one card type monster spell or trap reveal the top card of your opponent card your opponent's deck and if you do draw one card if that's card type so if anybody doesn't know what that means that means let's say you normal summon and you call monster and you see the top card of your opponent's deck it's a monster you draw a card now what what people uh get upset about is the name because you cannot use it with any of the spiral cards but i believe it's because this card is not once per turn at all the second effect is the first effect isn't so that means anytime you special summon this card you draw a card pretty much because you're going to know your card so after you su special summon the first one or normal summon it you're going to know the top card it doesn't get shuffled into the deck it doesn't go to the bottom of the deck nothing happens to the card it just stays there so that means let's say you have a spiral super agent you use this even if you miss or you hit you let's say you, if you hit great if you miss still okay because you have this so what you can do let's say that spiral super agent bam you you see a monster but you know you caught spell so now you could either normal summon this let's get a draw from that bam so now you got you got you got a pretty much you got a free draw for no reason so it's a, it's a plus one because you're not losing anything you're not paying no life points you're not discarding any cards anything or you know what you can do you can run summoner monk okay let's summoner monk into a spike out misty once again you're drawing a card oh it's 1500 attack less infernal reckless summon this girl so now you get two extra draws and since it's not once per turn, which I do not understand why Konami didn't say you can only use the effect of Spy Gal Misty once per turn, it's 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 literally not once per turn. So that means any time that you special or normal this card, you get to draw a card because you're gonna already after first effect, you're gonna know what your opponent's top card is. So that means you're not gonna miss for the rest of them. So in front of Reckless Summon already gives you what a plus three as if you use Spiral Super Agent, like. That's just ridiculous. And then you can keep going with other combos. You can miss a tomato in it. You can call a hundred this motherfucker and it's going to work. And I think that's the only reason that's not named Spiral is because it's not once per turn. If the first effect was once per turn, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have been named Spiral. Nobody would have even gave a fuck about the card. But the fact that it's not once per turn is mind boggling to me. And it's actually scary because now somebody is going to come up with a deck that just basically abuses this card. Which I, nobody is talking about. Nobody is talking about the effect, the fact that it's not once per turn. And I'm like, oh my god, why is nobody talking about this? Now, I know I sound like a broken record and I keep repeating myself. But yeah, like, it's it's literally, the first effect is literally, re, like, it's, it's, it's dumb. Because it's not once per turn. So there's going to be certain people who come up with Spy Gal Misty decks. To just basically based off the summon. Now, I may be completely wrong. It may ne never take off, but... Um, I remember hearing that uh, you always look you always look at certain cards or like okay like they were, they were saying I forgot what video I was watching a video but they said um when you read cards that say oh your opponent cannot do something always hold on to those cards because eventually it's going to be broken like vanity's emptiness some dude I, I forgot I think it was a house of chance video my bad if you guys heard that but I hit my computer but if it was a house of chance video the guy said um he seen vanity emptiness a long time ago and it said your opponent cannot special summon now he he said wow that's pretty good so he picked up a whole bunch of comments and they went to 30 and he sold them but that's how he made his money but I believe the same thing with this is because you could just draw a card whenever it's summoned so that means if somebody can dedicate a deck to just continue the special summon missing don't forget it is a spellcaster so i'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of shit that just summon spellcasters or do shit with something and you can just continue to special summon this card and continue to get her effect because it's not once per turn so i think that's going to definitely be somebody's mission you're probably going to see it on somebody's channel now i know like shark Yu Gi Oh pro sorry for that shark Yu Gi Oh pro and stuff like that they come up with these you know random decks that you just you don't see coming like they just released a video on the fusion monster with a whole bunch of combos 
So I think they're going to do the same thing with this when people realize that, you know, you it's not once really it's not once return. So, yeah, that I'm pretty sure that's the reason why Spy Gal is not a spiral is because the first effect is not once return. And if it was this card, but most likely probably been a secret rare and it, it possibly could have boosted spirals up to, uh, I would say, tier 1.5 because it, it, I, it would not be on Zodiac level because zodiac is just a crazy deck so that's going to be like tier one zero zero point five something like that but if this card was a spiral this shit would have been just bonkers now another thing i want to go to if this loads up real quick is that they do have the other cards that are coming out and i kind of want to give my little prediction now you obviously see this is a monster i think this card is a monster also but i don't know i don't know i don't have anything what it does but i'm just saying i, I believe it's a monster this based off like the artwork because, you know, that's, you know, you see like this, you see how he's just doing a little pose himself. He's not really looking at something or doing something. It's just him standing there. So I believe this is the monster. This is probably going to be a spell card along with this. This may be a trap card because it has these two in the back. So I think this card has something to do with special summon a spy gal. And this is probably going to be like a spy bro or some shit like that. I don't know, something stupid. But special summon, you know, one of each. If you control a super agent or something like that, or and then this is probably going to be a spell card where if you control a super agent, search one of these cards or something. I, I don't know. That's what I'm as a little, uh, what's the name? My little, uh, I guess, predictions on these cards. But yeah, going back to this card, this this card, I really believe that somebody can break this card because of the first effect is not once per turn. There's not a lot of cards that just say when you normal summon, draw a card. And the, there, there's no cost to this card. So once people figure out you can Infernal Reckless Summon it, you can Call of the Hunted this card, you could just keep Spell Summon this card and pretty much draw throughout your whole damn deck. Now, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if Infernal Reckless Summon does save from the graveyard, but if it does, then this card just has so much goddamn potential because you can literally summon a monk into this, Infernal Reckless Summon. I mean, there's Kaiju. I don't know if you can Infernal Reckless Summon a Kaiju because you, it says you can only control one, so I don't know about that whole ruling but your opponent's going to have a monster you summon a monk into this infernal reckless summoning get two more they're they're all level four so i mean you can exceed exceed set a call to hunt it and another infernal reckless summon or some spell card that i mean some uh, spellcaster themed card special summon it do it again continue to plus fucking three because you know your opponent's next card and so, I, just, I mean, I, I believe that's the whole reason why it's named Spiral instead of Spiral is because you're going to be able to abuse it if it was a Spiral. And I think that's not what they intended it for. So, I think they made it a Spiral, a Spy Gal, so it can be, you know, just used alone in conjunction, not just overshadow the whole deck and just make the whole deck, I mean, make the whole deck based around this because I don't think that's what they wanted to do. But to fix that, all they had to do was just say, once you can only use the effect of Misty once per turn, and you could have easily made it a spiral. Now, that's pro that's my reason behind it. You guys let me know why do you think Konami did it. Is it really because it's only of a, a, a pun? I mean, it's it, it, that's pretty bad, but I mean, I wouldn't put it past Konami for them doing that. But I really think it's because of the whole first effect of just being you draw one card like that. That's busted. Any card that just says draw one card is pretty good in Yu Gi Oh. So I don't know if anybody's gonna put two and two together or whatnot but i just want to put my little two cents out there and it may by time i do make this video or by the time this video does come out that's what it is what this is uh wednesday at 4 17 so i mean i don't know what might happen by tomorrow but yeah that's my little thoughts on this card that's the whole thing about it um so yeah tell me what you guys you know think below do you think i'm completely wrong do you really think that's just a damn pun the reason why they made it a spy gal and just fucked up the whole consistency of the deck do you think this card can actually be used in some type of crazy shenanigan combo deck and, you know let me know down below and uh if you guys enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment below let me know what you think also subscribe if you have not i upload monday wednesday and friday um i just uploaded today because these are just two random cards that came out and they're pretty interesting topics i say and i just i do these from time to time i guess i'm going to start doing them i don't usually do this but so time to time, I'm going to just start doing random little videos like this. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Also, subscribe. I mean, I already said subscribe. Also, click add to help support the channel. Would be very appreciative. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. All right. So, now, I originally just was going to end the video on that. But I do want to include a little clip that I made a little funky deck. Now, I just made this quickly. Now, like I said, this is obviously...
you know, far-fetched and whatnot. But as you can see, what's the name? You, you see what you can do. Like I said, this is not once per turn. So somebody who is a better deck maker than me is clearly going to make a better deck. So I just did this because I did see an idea. I did just want to negate it. Like I said, you could have did more stuff. Now, he could have went Brilliant Fusion and all that, but I guess he didn't want to or something like that. Um, I, I don't know. I guess he, he doesn't have a four, so he can't really do anything with that. So as you can see, he's doing this little, I guess, uh, I mean, I don't even know what you want to put this into. I don't know, but this, I don't know. This, he's doing that little card. So... As you can see, I'm just drawing cards with Misty for no reason. I mean, I know the next card. Like, I have Rhoda, so you can search this, so you can guarantee hit the right card. So, I'm going to get to some of the monks, special summon the Misty. Misty draws one more card. Sure, Allure, bam, Allure again, bam. Now, see, now I have the combo. So, here's where I want to stop it. Here's where I have the combo. I can special summon Misty, and here I messed up, but you're not going to always go against a, you know, you not I mean you can this can't happen to you but like i said um you're not gonna uh, if you you know use it you could summon a kai i don't know if it works with kaijus i have not tried it with kaijus like i said in the video but as you can see i call monster cards chain inferno reckless thumbing okay now he special summon so once again i can miss but what's the name he predominantly runs monsters so I mean, you're going to know what deck you're playing against. If you're playing against some type of deck like this, you call whatever you want to call. But bam, as you can see, I drew a card for that. Um, he special summons this. I call monster, hit monster, bam, monster, bam. So now I can just do it. Look, look at this. This is the I know this is clearly fucking, uh, what's the name? This is clearly, um, this is clearly just one of them replays where you get once in a while. Trust me, it took me like five, actually it took me like around five to six I would say five to ten duels to get this. As you see, I'm using Wonder Wands because there are spellcasters. And once again, the card still stays there. So I can continue going to it. If I drew into another card to draw, I could Infernal Reckless summon him again. And he, he I mean, he can't, he can special summon this. But once again, once I miss with the first one, I'm not going to miss with the second two. And as you can see, you can just do whatever you want. You, any abundance of level fours and stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about with Misty. Like, if you just combine it with Infernal Reckless summon... You're going to draw three, probably four. I don't know how many cards because, you know, it's just how many times you special summon a card. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so there. That's it. Um, I don't, I said the ending earlier, but, you know, I just wanted to include this. Wait, is this this one? Okay, yeah. I just wanted to include this little one real quick. That should show you guys what I was talking about. But, yeah, that is the real end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the combo. Do you think it's stupid? I think it's stupid. But yeah, let me know what you think of the uh, combo and stuff like that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.